Tom. Oh man. That uh that sky doesn't look very friendly. Oh, it seems to be getting friendlier though. I was gonna try and pull it out to get a uh uh a look at the weather, but it's clearing up, so. Yeah. Anyway. Hello, everybody! Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. In the last episode, we... I don't know, we did stuff? We beat up a, a giant centipede that was bothering a dragon. In this episode... Hey. Yes, do you see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go. Really? Uh, the Forest Haven. Swirly, Forest Haven, Swirly. Fish! Oh, I need to go to that fish. It may appear as though this is a great rising tree, uh... The great tree rising far above the ocean surface. But it is a sacred place. It, uh, it is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the Earth, the great Deku Tree. You must speak with the Deku Tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Feroar's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hands may have already reached this most sacred of, of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution. Really? I can't get back into him. Alright, where's the fish? There's the fish. I also see a salvage point. Actually, come to think of it, uh, I'm gonna look at my maps here. You can- yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna open all these treasure charts. Uh, tangle chart. Cool. Well, I got all, all the ones I have open. Let's go over here and spread the bait! Yum, 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 Ah, delicious! Hi, hey, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I think you want a chart, uh, a chart and info about this island. Start by opening up your sea chart. I'ma get you. <laughs> Just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've seen I've seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. What else would he be doing on that lone little island? I tell you, if there's some there are some strange folk in this world, Fry. That's all the info I've got to offer. If you're here again, you'll have to throw some even some more bait in the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. Can't go out fighting evil on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. I just realized he has ears. That's really unsettling. All right, let's make it back, uh, make our way back over to uh, this island here. Does this island have a name? Not according to the gamepad. All right, stop and get out. Link, you, you ignorant dumb. Think of the SNL uh, thing. What was it like? I forgot what it was. It's like uh, weekend update. You ignorant slut. Whoops. Uh, all right. Stick cannot float on water. Good to know. Ow! I will kill you with your. Friend? A Boko Baba seed! Gotta remember that, they're Boko Babas. Hey, that works out great! Don't have to remember that. Yeah! Uh oh! That'll learn you, bean pole. He dropped a rupee. Alright, I was gonna say, I was gonna be uh, like, wait a minute, did he drop something I needed? And it turns out he did. Uh, do you have seed for me? You do not have seed. Are you bad? You are bad. You are bad. Oh no. The plant was bad. I'm losing my voice here, because I've recorded three episodes already, and, uh... Today was E3, so... Today was Nintendo E3. So things, uh... 
Things are a little hoarse on my end. Ow! I'm gonna get that guy. Oh. He wasn't having none of it. Ooh. Oh, you know what? This place did have a, uh, have a name. I just missed it. I, I said it too. I said it with like the swirly bit that, that our good buddy Jepson is known for. Jepson! Uh, hello? You look like a friendly face tree and your brain extends all the way up the trunk. Uh oh! He's cursed! He's cursed with a spot of acne! Don't worry, I've got... I've got Clar Claritin. No, that's for allergies. Oh man, what could I possibly have that would work here? The greens do drop jellies. Ch chew jelly. Kind of hard to chew jelly. It just sort of like dissolves. They escape? Oh no, they're back. Oh, you didn't defeat them fast enough, and now I'm dying. Come on. Stand tall. No way, I wanted the jellies. Uh, oh, oh. I must apologize. I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven, the Deku Tree. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? It was. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. In that case, we must make haste. Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. This is, okay. Well then, really, these are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time long ago, the Koroks took on human form, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will ever be cherished at little children. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks hold, but once every year, it is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So let it begin. Are you ready, my children? <laughs> we are not our great decorative tree! Something terrible has happened! It is Makar! Makar! What is the matter, Linda? You and Makar are always late. No, it's not that! Oh, great Deku Tree! My car fell to the Forbidden Woods! What? The Forbidden Woods? I told you to be careful, but still, my car flew up off the Forbidden Woods, and as you were close to it. Foolish little Makar. Really? You've heard all this? 
The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hollowed island of our Forest Haven. Those woods. The whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it seems they have taken a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But, but wait, there's a tree. People cannot fly through the air. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter those woods from the sea, is, is it? Really? I would guess from your size you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we still may be able to solve this dilemma. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly through the sky. Excuse me, I'm passing a kidney stone! Use my kidney stone. Hmm. Forgive me. Really, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? You're from! <laughs> uh, what do you say? You know about this flower? It's called a barber bun. If you stand in front of it and tilt the left stick up to jump into it, barber buns have this peculiar habit of shooting you up into the air after you jump into them. So you can use them to jump to harder places. I shall jump then! Boing. It's like I never stopped playing Breath of the Wild. Which I don't have to, because Breath of the Wild 2 is announced. Wow, you're quite good at that, Mr. Null. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. Just shoot out first in the right direction, don't panic! If you don't tilt the left stick in that direction, you'll land safely back in the barber pod. And Baba Bud. And Baba Bud. And the Baba Bud. And a Bible Bud and a Bible Bud. You got the Deku Leaf. Set it to use with one of those buttons. Play your feet on the ground. Use the blow blast of air at en objects and enemies. You also jump in the air and use your magic power to drift through the currents of the wind. Swordsman, over here! Please, you must fly over here using your Deku Leaf. But I want to see what's over there. I shall equip! Okay, that's that's where I want to go. Whew. Made it! But just barely. Alright. Keep it moving. So what's, oh, what the hell, who's that? Was I supposed to do this yet? Something tells me I wasn't. All right, uh, first off. Blast those winds. Give me the northern wind! Nextly. Yep. What say you, friend? Hello! Yeah, you're incredible! Did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing uh, thing ever. Hey, if you could fly, do you think maybe you could hit that switch over there? Huh? Can you? Huh? You can't see it. It's just over there, towards the top of the forest haven. You have a telescope. Uh, don't you have a telescope? I mean, who does in this day and age? I like how his bag has an, has, uh, an Octorok on it. 
Okay, so this is probably something I need to do after, um... After I finish, uh, this temple here. This witch is way up on top of that branch. Uh, you see what I mean? Right there on that hook. Yeah, I, right in that little nook. Yeah, I can't do anything about that right now. So I guess my only option is... I choose death! Oh no. Okay, well, give me a hot minute and I'll get right back up to the top. Dan! Do your stuff! Back on top of the tree. Let's get our Korok leaf and let's jump! Uh, almost missed. Hello. There you go, Mr. Swordsman. You've already mastered using the Decker Leaf. But still, since you're so much heavier than real, you can't fly very far, can you? How unfortunate. Well, anyway, this is the exit of the list of forbidden words where our brother Makar is being held. Please take care of Makar. I will, once I get the appropriate magics. Ah, uh, this doesn't look so bad. Covered in, covered in thorns. It's just covered in thorns. Uh, hello. Congratulations, swordsman. Pros are finally gotten the decker leaf. That new looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Fortress. Makar is trapped somewhere in there. We have to float over there the launch is just near decker leaf. But, when you're flying with the Decker Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. The wind can't carry you far into the sea before you land. Probably the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. If only. Uh, I wanted to go that way, yeah. So I can make it over to that island over there. And now, we go! Ah. Banjo's in Smash. It's being recorded on the day of the direct, so ban Banjo's in Smash. Nice job, Swordsman! Looks like you've already mastered using the deck your life. You're a quick study! First glance, uh, you should do is cut the grass to replace your magic power. This the forbidden woods is much higher level than this is the forest heaven. We're gonna get such a high place you have to uh, catch the swirling updraft. Do you see the updraft swordsman? The updraft's right here moves swiftly. If the uh, time you jump just right, say the wind will fill your decker leaf and carry you to the updraft, give you the lift you need. Once you're floating high, just let the wind take you to the edge of the woods. I see. Well, I also need to redirect the wind as well. The wind needs to be on my side. The Northwest! I wonder if I could have got actually gotten to there from the opposite entrance of the uh of here. Here comes the wind. And a skibidi jump. Whew, I think I'm gonna make it. These pea hats won't do anything to me. These pea hats are doing something to me! Where does it start me? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, I gotta wait for the wind to go all the way around. Come on. All righty, ready and jump. Catch the wind. I don't know if this is high enough actually. This seems a touch low. Oh my gosh. Whoa, hey, pea hat. Can I also use the grappling hook on these guys? Well, I stole a golden feather from him. I landed, did that count? Thank goodness. 
Wait, did it count? It did. All right, I'm good. I'm in the clear. Oh man, this place is spooky. I don't like it. These woods are forbidden. All right, I, I see the chew jellies. The green ones make magical potions. And inside this place here is... The map! That's uh... Very convenient so early on. Ow! Then they like slow down the the sound of the uh, of the the chew jellies, and it's just like two Japanese men bickering. I hear more. I don't see you. Bam! Now give me your jellies. We're gonna feel it straight down in your jellies. Ugh. I got them. And the jellies. Nut. Nut, 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 nut! Strong nut. Nut, 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 nut! That looks like a door, but it isn't. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of uh, the forest temple in uh, in Majora's Mask. Yeah. Ah! Release! Jerk! Yes, give me your seed. I wanted to swing it. Uh, can I swing it over the leaves? I, I could have sworn he could burn the leaves. You can! Uh, hello! They don't die in one hit from that. The jellies need to die! There are a ton of jellies in this area. Or the, uh, I, sh I shouldn't say jellies, because jellies is what you get from them. I'm feeling it down in my jellies. Oh, there we go. That's lighting the leaves on fire. The forest shall burn by my hand and my design. By my desires to burn the forest. The forest shall burn, as shall you. I miss. Perhaps I can hit you with a stick. I shall hit you with stick. I hit you once with stick. Nay, don't cross me, otherwise you'll be hit twice with stick. Missed again. There's probably a better way to go about doing this. Similar to other areas, it's probably a nut. Oh no, I got him! Hey, a knight's crest! Sweet. I mean, those do I need like 10 of them? That's how I remember specifically. Like I was like, I have to get this because the cool sword, the old, the, the cool old swords master is gonna teach me something awesome. Uh, ah, that way. That way? Not that way, or maybe with the leaf that way. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You just, you just hang on. Uh, oh, this these away. Ah! 
a little more tactful next time. Uh. All right, now we just hover around the, the vines. Oddly reminiscent of Banjo-Kazooie, who is also in Smash. I will never get tired of saying that. And this was the wrong way. Cool. Oh, do the, wait, do these flowers restore your magic? They do. They oh so do. Uh oh. Oh, I could bomb his face. Uh oh. You guys will deal with that one. Personally, one explosion is too many. So like, the one that I just did was was too many. Boom! I blow up your face. Oh golly, that's a that's a long fall down there. All right, uh, oh, I can't blow that, Chief. Oh, I can blow this one though. Ah, there we go. Ah, good as new. Oh, don't give me any of that. Just give no. Give me the. Give me the blowies. Uh, hello. No, the other ah. When I hit it on the left, it blows the opposite direction. Oh, wait. No! Oh, there we go. Much better. So I was able to hit that one. It just didn't seem like it initially. Well, day. Hi. Bye. Ooh. Ow. I was hoping they'd have some golden feathers for me. I guess I gotta steal those. Which I shall. All right. Well, that's all. That's all that she wrote. Ow. Give you what for? Give you the brass tacks of the bee's knees. Ow. You're dead. Dead soon. You will be deading, Deddy Deddington. The most dead. But has one of your, aha, one of the chambers has remained. Allowing me to get up. I need the up. A door here? There is. Can I, can I flap wind at you? Nope. That ain't gonna work. And for nobody. For anybody. Aha! When it's slightly above, I can reach. Ah! Give me nut. Hurry up, nut is on timer. Nut. Uh, there's something down there? I mean, like, there definitely is, but... What the hell? Nope! Nope! Okay, I'm past the spike cones. And I got a red rupee. Do these hurt? No. I can pick them up as well. 
and they break very easily. It's that that made it seem like it was gonna be a lot worse than it actually was. Boop. Alrighty. Well, I'm a thinking that next time on the Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker, we'll continue our way through the Forbidden Forest, or the Forsaken Forest. I don't remember which one. Neither does Link. He's thinking about it hard and long there. Hard and long. Anywho, hope you all enjoyed this episode. I will see you all next time. Later!